All right, since we completed a lot of concepts already, so today we're kind of like we're going to review the chapter. So that way we can kind of like refresh everything and, and you can move forward on that. All right. <clears throat> if you look at the review, the first exercise we look at it, expressions and variables. And then in this one, like evaluate means you plug in the, whatever the numbers is given to you. You plug it in, then you solve these, solve it for the whatever the numbers is given to you. Okay. And then let's do some practice questions so that way you can get a pretty good idea on this. Let's try these questions. The P value is given to you and Q value is given to you. Plug it in and then let's solve it. And then we're going to go back and then review it. Okay. Very good. So I can see that one. The first one you applied it, 35 minus 12. You got that one. That's pretty good. And looks good. Q plus 2. That's 3.5, looks good. And you divided it. Uh, what's the answer for this one? Five. Five, okay. That's good. You check your answers too, that's good. And then, yeah, very nice. The next lesson we learned is like uh, powers and exponents. Whenever you have an exponent, you kind of like repeatedly multiply it, okay? Let's say if this is, I say, two to the third exponent, which means Two times two times two. Agree? So that's called the exponent. So same way when you multiply them and then you will get the answer. That's called the powers and exponents. Let's do some practice questions on this one. All right, let's practice this one. Evaluate 10 to the fourth exponent and 4.3 to the third exponent and then 4.5 to the second exponent. Let's try these questions. For this one is we have only third exponent. So when you have third exponent, you need to multiply only three times. So when you multiply it's 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, you get a 0 0.09, right? And then you multiply that one by three, so you get 0 0.027. That's it, the three of them is done. You don't need to do the fourth one, okay? So the answer for this one is 0 0.027. This one is good, very good. I like that work. So you put them a lot of work there. But in this question, you may apply that trick that we learned. Remember the trick? So when you multiply this one, 125 times 125, right? So you can put that 25 here, and then you can just multiply 12 times 13. Okay? So 12 times 13, you just multiply those two. Basically, you can get 156. That's it. You see that? And then, but you see the decimal there, so you're gonna put a one, two decimals, and that's where you get the answer. All right, that makes sense? Good. The next lesson we worked is order of operations. In the order of operation we follow the PEMDAS rule. Let's say if you look at this question, parentheses first, once you do the parentheses, and then, and then you're gonna apply the exponent, and once you're done with the exponent, and then you subtract them, or the, before that, multiply the seven, and then you subtract, you follow the order of operations, okay? Okay, let's do some practice questions on this one. Let's practice these questions using the order of operations. I like that, you did that work. You multiply these two first, and multiply, and then add, and you get that. Then this simplify, and then divide by three, minus two, that's good. And you follow the order of operations, pretty good. Okay. And uh, I want to check this one quick question, okay, before we move on to the other ones. So right here, and then 5 minus 1 is 4, and times 3, I think right? we're going to do 12 divided by 8. No, 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 you did good. So that's good. I just want to notice this. You always follow from left to right when you have mind multiply and then divide next to it. So first you divide these two, so that's where you get uh, seven, seven times three, that's 21. Good work out there, okay? Comparing the and ordering the integers, like you put them in the other number line and see which goes where. So that's what basically it is, okay? And then we can say like absolute means is always positive, learn that one too. <laughs> so let's look into some questions, examples on this one. All right, let's try this one. So put them in the least to greatest. So small one goes first and then 
pedals. Very good. I like that you put those uh, different colors up there. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty neat. Integers. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, you need to take this one to the trash, this one to the sink, okay? Put them in the water, okay? otherwise it's going to smell bad. Go take it right now. Go. Come outside, take this one out there, and then go sit down. Go. Pencil the patkoli. Careful. Thank you.
trying to click the annotate, but the screen went in and out, so I'm like, wait, what? And I ended up clicking the wrong <laughs> Oh, okay. That's all right. All right. All right, let me share the screen again. Okay, good. Now let's look into this adding integers. <coughs> Find the sum, and uh, let's look at some examples up here. So this one right here, <coughs> negative, and when you have the same signs, you add them together. When you have opposite sign, you subtract them together. Okay, so that's the adding integers. All right, let's practice some questions on this one. Adding integers, keep it like when you have a same signs, you add them and put the sign. And if there are different signs, you subtract them and then keep the, the bigger absolute value sign. Go ahead and try them. <laughs> All right, so looks good. Let me this okay so when you have a different signs you subtract them and you did that what's the answer right here oh 30. it's 30 okay let's check one thing okay in this question quickly. i mean negative 30, 30. okay we'll check it right now so when you do this question right here this is positive sign Okay, and looks like you copied the question wrong. So both of them are negative here. See that? Oh. Do you see that? So it's a one positive, one negative. It's basically it's a multiplication is negative. So twelve minus eighteen, that's a negative six. Okay, and then this one is good. This one is good. That's about negative, so you add them. That's good. Pretty good. All right, let's try these two questions based on this. Subtracting into yours. Let's add this. All right. So good. Now let's check these couple questions. So if you look at this, the first one, it's that's zero. Negative eight. I don't know how that got there. Okay, so that's negative eight. That's good. Now this one, you see this double negative? That becomes positive. So the negative two, positive two, that's zero. Oh. See that? Oh, that's good. That's a problem. And this one, you see the both of them are negatives. Let's say you borrowed forty-six dollars, and then it, that's not enough money. You need more, more money. So you borrow twenty-nine more dollars. So now you owe more than that. So like you add these two now. Okay. So what's a 46 plus 29? Add them. $75. So you owe $75, which is negative 75. And then this one, double negative is positive. You did that, negative positive 19. Looks good. Okay. Yeah, be careful with those, like whenever you have a double negative, so what to do with those things, right? Good. So the next one is a multiplying and dividing integers. So when you multiply or dividing integers, negative divided by negative is positive. So you remember those, the basic facts on this. So negative times negative is positive. Negative times positive is negative. Negative divided by negative is positive. Positive divided by negative is negative. Okay, let's do a little bit of these practice questions. Yeah, where you can get the good idea. This one too. There you go. It's coming up. All right, go ahead and answer these questions. All right, let's check this one. So the negative times negative is positive. You did that one good. And then, so that's a negative 13 looks good. That's a negative 51 looks good. Nice, good work out there. The next one is a coordinate plane. Uh, we'll learn about the coordinate plane, x axis, y axis, how to plot the points, and all that stuff we did already. 
So it's kind of like, let's do some practice on these uh, coordinate plane and we'll get some questions on that. And basically always remember how to plot the points X plus first and then Y and run over once. So it's basically you first go to the X and then you plot the Y value. Okay, it's pretty good. Make sense? Yeah. All right. So identify these points, write down the order pairs. Whenever you write the order pair, make sure you put them on the parentheses. Okay, let's go ahead and order that, write it down that. All right, looks pretty good. So you plot the points already, looks good. If Q is one and two, looks good. R is zero, negative two, good. S is right here, negative three, it's not gonna negative three, good. T is right here, it's a positive one, negative three. Good work. So with this, basically, we reviewed it the entire chapter, like all the sections of the first unit. So I'm gonna send you the notes so you can study. So that way you can get a good understanding on the test out there. Looks good, I like it, pretty good. You completed all of them and then we reviewed everything. Pretty. Excellent, see you, that's good.